Jack! Jack! I was waiting for you. Have you got a minute? Sure, Edward. What's up? You want to put some muscles in your film? Oh, Jack, you are quite a joker. I need some advice about a rather delicate matter. Well, it's about women. Oh, well, then you've come to the right person when it comes to women, in all modesty. I'm sort of an expert. Go ahead, shoot. But make it fast. I have to get to the gym. Oh, well, don't worry. It's like this. If a woman lets you mysteriously know that she's keen on you, and if you didn't expect it, but then you find that you don't mind the gesture, in fact, because of this, you find that you are becoming fond of her. And if she acts as if nothing has happened... Whoa, 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 whoa Edward. What are you getting at? I, I don't understand. It, is this a new idea for a film? Because if it is... You should think about rewriting this script. It seems very convoluted to me. Oh, Jack, stop joking. It's a serious matter. I, I just don't know how to behave. I, I can't stand this situation. Well... Okay. Let's take this from the top. So, a woman goes for you. However, she doesn't do it openly. But then she pretends as if nothing has happened. And, as far as I can tell, you don't dislike the idea. Have I got it? Exactly. Mm. What should I do? Well, the fact... Her behavior leads me to believe that she's fond of games. So, use that. Play the mysterious man. And then... Surprise her with something special. You know, like uh, take her out to dinner, or write her a poem, or send her some red roses. Women really go for that kind of thing. Oh, really? I got an idea. Great. This spot should work well. Maybe here would be better. And I'll put the card here, next to this. Uh, let's give it a quick once over again. And I should have done this long ago. Now I can't wait any longer. Listen to my poetry, written especially for you. You are perfume, the color of all flowers, the breath and scent of the sea, the warming strength of the sun. You, the shining star that lights my life. Who knows if she'll like it? What about these roses? Will she like them? What if she makes fun of me? Perhaps uh, I shouldn't have listened to Jack. But of course, of course. It makes no sense to go on as if nothing has happened. Somebody has to take the first step. I'll await you tomorrow night here in the living room. When everyone is asleep, we'll be able to be alone, finally, alone. Okay, that is done. There's nothing more to do now but wait. I'll be home soon. Thank God Alice won't be here at least for two hours. And Jack is at the gym, yes? I calculate everything perfectly. Now it's time for me to leave as well. I don't want them to see me here. Mm -hmm. Here she is. It's time to go. Excellent. Great, Edward. The moment of truth approaches. They'll never call me an amateur again. Right, fine. Bye-bye. Oh, is the door open? Lovely cat's coming. Oh, what a 
these? <gasps> For me? Oh, they're beautiful. I wonder who sent them. Oh, what poetry. Who could have written it? No. No, Anne. What are you thinking? Now, don't be silly. It can't have been Jack. Oh, my God. But then again, he's the only person I can imagine who would have written such lovely poetry. And... Oh, my God. Oh, what if it were Jack? Now that Sharon is out of the picture... And... Oh, who would have ever thought that, that one day... Hi, Anne. Hi, Alice. My, aren't we feeling chirpy today? Yes, we are feeling chirpy. I've just received a mysterious and completely unexpected surprise. So, what is it? What's all the suspense for? Oh, I'm sorry, Alice. I'd like to keep it a secret for the time being. There's something I have to check up on first. But don't worry, I'll tell you soon enough. Now, why don't you tell me how's it going with Edouard? By the look on your face, I would guess things aren't going very well. You said it. A complete and utter disaster. I should never have written that card. Why? What's the matter? That's the problem. Nothing has happened. Edouard acts as if he'd never read that card. And yet I know he read it. I'm absolutely certain of it. Why are you so sure? Well, he told me in no uncertain terms. I fished around, vaguely. And he admitted that something strange had happened. And he also said that he was very pleased. And then nothing. No words, no actions. At this point, I think he was referring to something else entirely. Or else, I just have to accept the fact that he isn't interested in me. Oh, don't get depressed, Alice. If you want my opinion, I think you should have told him in person. Face to face is always better than playing games. At any rate, you've still got time. Why don't you... Sit down and have an earnest word with him. No way! To be embarrassed further? Anyway, there's something fishy about this whole story. Either Edward is acting like a complete fool, or else he hasn't truly understood what I feel for him. Oh, I need some clarity. From now on, I'm going to scrutinise his Every move. Ooh. Anne! Hi. I'm so happy you have accepted my invitation. What a strange voice you have. I almost wouldn't have recognized you. It's the thrill. You can't imagine how I've longed for this moment. Oh, really? You don't say. Be truthful, I'm rather emotional myself. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Slow down, boy. I, I really don't want to wake the others. Oh, the others. Never mind. Who cares if they find out? Actually, I'd rather they didn't. You know how I am. I'm shy and reserved. Oh, what a pity. I know. And that's why I'm crazy about you. <laughs> reserved with the others. But you are a tiger when it comes to what you want. Come again? Oh, you know exactly what I'm speaking about. Well, let's light a candle. I want to see your face. Don't 
Don't worry. Our date, you don't remember. You are a little nervous. Come here, baby. Let go of me. Let go. Don't you dare touch me. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. <gasps> hey, what's going on in here? <laughs> and what? <laughs> Anne. Oh, now I understand everything. Thanks a lot, Anne. What a great friend no. you are. No. What an idiot I was to confide in you. No, really. Alice, it's not like you think. Oh, and what am I supposed to think then? It seems pretty clear to me. No, no, really. L let me explain. Uh, I, I thought it would be, I thought it would be Jack. What does Jack have to do with it? Uh, why did you leave me this note in my napkin the other day? Oh, Edward, it was me who wrote you that note. I can't believe you don't get it. Oh, but the, the poetry and, and the roses, that was you. Sorry about that. I thought... Oh, I'm so sorry. What an amateur you are, Edward. Hey, Anne. Hi. Have you read the paper? There's an article about Peter. Our singer has become famous. No, I haven't read it. To tell you the truth, I'm really not interested. What a pity. It's very interesting. Hey, Alice. Hi, Alice. Take a peek at the paper. There's an article about Peter. Whoopee. Glad to hear it. Who cares? What fun you girls are. It's quite the pleasure to hang out with you. Edward. At least you'll be interested. Would you like to read this article about our friend Peter? Actually, I would object. Would somebody explain what's going on? I have never seen so many long faces. You and your expert advice. What's eating him? Has he gone star craving mad? No, Jack. I've gone star craving mad. Yet again, I played the fool. What an idiot! Okay, Alice. At least you'll explain what's going on. I'm in the dark here. Oh, it's a long story, Jack. A horrible mess. It all began with a misunderstanding. Well, I'm all ears. Go on, Alice. Do tell. Hi, Anne. Have you got a minute? I... Hi, Jack. I'd like to have a word. You've probably already heard the sordid story. <laughs> yes. Listen, Anne. No, I want you to listen, Jack. You've probably had a good laugh on my behalf. Now, that said, I prefer no further comments on the story. <laughs> it is not my intention to make fun of you, Anne. Although I must admit that the whole misunderstanding was rather amusing. Great. Now, pretty please, let's not talk about it anymore. Well, I would like to have a word about it. What I'm about to say is, is sure to surprise you. Nothing's bound to surprise me anymore, Jack. Anyway, listen. Don't worry. You don't have to explain. I know how things are. I know that you like me, but just as a friend. A friend that, listen, well, Anne. maybe if we'd met at some other time... Anne, excuse me. Things would have gone differently, and then, well, perhaps... Oh, blah, 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 blah! Anne, can I speak for one minute, please? Thank you. Go right ahead. Now, you know how, how I suffered about Sharon. And well, after her, I, I didn't think I'd ever feel anything about another woman. But then you came back from your holiday and, and I started to feel better. I didn't think about Sharon so much. What are you getting at, Jack? And it was... It was because of you that, that I managed to forget about Sharon. Well, that's what friends are for, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? Get what, Jack? 
Amen. Amen. I'm trying to tell you that I'm in love with you. I, I didn't want to believe it at first. I, I thought I was attracted to you because I, I felt so alone in the world. But then this feeling grew, and, and when Alice told me about Edward, I, I realized it should have been me to bring you those flowers. Jack, if this is some kind of a joke, it's not very amusing. No, 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 no it's, it's the truth, I swear. We were made for each other. I should have realized it sooner. I'm sorry. Well, Jack! <laughs> so, Edward, are you going to explain why you called us all here today? What, what, what's so urgent? Well, listen. Something marvelous has happened, to say the least. I must say, I'm a little unsure about what you term marvelous. Oh, let's put aside our differences, Alice. We should all be happy today. Oh, just a moment. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. Uh, don't worry. Uh, uh, they are certain to accept. I've already spoken with the group. Yeah. They are bound to be here any moment. Yeah. Uh, we'll be sure to get the details later. Bye-bye. Edward, do you plan on telling us what's going on? Well, you all remember that I was in touch with the producer to propose what I've filmed with you in this house. Yes, and? He ate it up. He loved you all. The house, your daily gossip, your relationships. Oh, great. They have already arrived. Um, excuse me for a moment. I'll get it. Who's arrived? Who? <laughs> Come. Come in, come in. This way. Edward, what's going on? Who are these people? All done now. Mr. Martin, the producer, has accepted my proposal. We are going to make some TV shows here. And you, you all are going to be the stars. You are bound to become famous. And I've already come up with the title. At Home with Anne. What do you think? Oh my God. I have five pairs of sneakers. Number two, the same with I have. So remember, I have. I have uh, linked them together. Puppy. Puppy is a young dog. And two kittens. Kitten is um, a young cat. Two kittens with S. A puppy and two kittens. Kitten here, you can say kitten. Kitten. So I have a, I have a puppy and two kittens. Number three and number four. You remember, you we use have. You have beautiful eyes. Your eyes are beautiful. You have beautiful eyes. Now number four. You have a lot of money. A lot of, link them together. A lot of, have a, have a lot of, have a lot of money. You have a lot of money. For number five and number six, we, remember, we have. We have one son and one daughter. We have one son and one daughter. Don't say daughter, okay? Daughter. That means we have two children. One, girl, one boy and one girl. We have one son and one daughter. And for daughter, you can say daughter if you want. Number six, we have some interesting books. Interesting. Don't say interest, okay? Interest. Tr Intra, interests with S, interesting, interesting, interesting books. She has a link them together. She has a stylish handbag. Twelve. She has two kids. T 
two kids. That means two ch- children. Two kids, two children. The same. She has two kids. For thirteen and fourteen, he, he with has. He has his own restaurant. That means the restaurant belongs to him. Don't say restaurant or a restaurant. Okay. Oh, restaurant is still okay, but say it quickly. Restaurant, rest, rest, restaurant, restaurant. He has his own restaurant. Fourteen. He has an orange umbrella. That means he has an umbrella that is orange. The color, orange color, orange. Remember G E J. Orange, umbrella, bre umbrella, an orange umbrella. He has link them together. He has an orange umbrella. You, you with R, right? You are Peter's dad. Peter's dad. That means you are the dad of Peter. You are Peter's dad. So, if I want to make the question, I want to know that if you are Peter's dad or not. I okay. Make the question now. Put B R is B, right? Ah,、uh, now we put R before you. So we have: Are you Peter's dad? Are you Peter's dad? For number twelve, you are. The candidates, the candidates. Now remember, you can be one person, or you can be some or a lot of people. So you can be singular or plural. So here you are Peter Stead. I mean, one person, but you are candidates with S here plural now. So it means you here are plural. You are the candidates. If you are a candidate, that means you are applying for a job or you are trying to be elected. Candidate, okay? Candidate. You are the candidates. Or, if I want to make the question, I want to ask you if you are the candidates or not. Okay, just put B before the subject. So we have. Are you the candidates? Are you the candidates for number thirteen? We remember we with R, right? We are friendly people. That means we are friendly people, right? Friendly, fr friendly. We are friendly people for fourteen. We are a big company. We with R, a big company. Company, don't say、um, company. Okay, it's not company. It's company. Company, a big company. We are a big company. So if I want to make the question, I want to know if our company is a big com. Are not? I have to ask. Are we? Okay, so are before we. Are we a big company? Are we a big company? Now for fifteen, they remember they with are. We have you, we, they, and rural nouns go with are. They are our customers. 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 Um. Okay, if you are my customer, that means、um, you are buying my products or you are using my service. So customers, they are our customers. Number one and number two. I remember, I the verb infinitive. So I like. We don't add s e s or I. I like, I likes, I liking. Okay, 
I like. I like this city. I like this city. This city. I like this city. Now for number two, I study. Remember the base form. Study is the base form. We don't say I studying or I studies or I too study. I study English. English. I study English. For number three and number four, you, you verb infinitive. So, you drive that car. You drive that car. And number four, you play tennis. You play tennis. We listen. Don't say we listens or we listening. Okay, we listen to music. Listen has to go with to. Uh, if you say we listen music, it is not correct. We have to say listen to music. We listen to music. Number six, we wash our bike. Wash our bike, or that means we clean our bike by water. Wash, s h sh. We wash our bike. Don't say washes or washing. We wash our bike. Seven and eight. They. They with verb infinitive. So, they speak. Don't say speak. Okay, long e speak. Speak. Speak Spanish. Spanish. Spanish is the language of Spain. Spanish. Okay. They speak Spanish.